Hey, it's Mr. Johns, and I wanted to introduce you to a program that I um, like to use um, to teach driving skills as well as to play as a game. So it's called Beam NG dot Drive. Terrible name. You can buy it um, on Steam, uh, and you know it would be a, a great thing to pick up to practice um, some of the driving uh, techniques and skills, but it's also a game. There's all kinds of things you can do in it. Um, I'm excited to um, check out some of the rock crawling courses and rock crawlers you can do. You can drive through Utah, up through rock canyons, and uh, there's pizza delivery and all kinds of things, right? There's just lots of different drive. It's all about driving, which is really cool. There's plenty of racing games out there, and I love those, but I've been looking for something that's a little bit more realistic. And so one thing that I wanted to talk about um, in this um, edition is what to expect on your first drive when that comes up. A lot of you are nervous about that, um, and that's understandable. You partially don't know what to expect. And so um, though every driving school and every instructor is different, and you need to listen to what they um, tell you to do for sure, um, I wanted to give you some some uh, some general ideas, and so you show up. Um, I'm gonna turn this off. You show up on your uh, first day of your driving lesson, and you'll meet your instructor, and uh, that instructor will walk you around the vehicle, and talk about the circle of safety. Probably not. Maybe not every every school does this, but and the circle of safety is simply making sure the vehicle is safe. Um, all the way around. Are there any flat tires? Are there any nails in the tires? Are there any um, kids, toys, bicycles, things in the way of the vehicle? Uh, anything that would prevent this car from being driven. So it's just simply just walking around the vehicle, making sure everything looks fine, because who knows? Um, between last time you drove the car or if this is your first time driving this car, you need to know that it's good to go. And I know sometimes some instructors will put like a, a pop can or something behind a tire just to see if you're paying attention. I don't know if yours will, but sometimes they're checking you to make sure you are really are looking around the vehicle. Um, so um, once you get in the vehicle, they're going to have you kind of check things out. Uh, and they'll talk about this vehicle. And every vehicle's different. You know, you know they all have a steering wheel. They all have uh, a gas pedal and a brake pedal. Remember that the gas is always on the right. The brake is always on the left. So, you know, this is a this is a very simple simulator in some ways. And so, this particular vehicle just has a tachom tachometer on the left, which is just the revolutions per minute, how fast the engine is um, spinning. Um, the one that matters most is the one right there in the middle. Um, that's the speedometer. Uh, it also shows the gears. So if it's an automatic, P is for park, R is for reverse, N neutral, D drive, which is what you'll be in most of the time. And then there's a gear two and a gear one. Now those are for going slower, maybe up a hill, maybe pulling things. So one is the slowest. So that'd be like a steep hill, really slow. Two, you might actually shift into if you're going up a hill, um, pulling a boat, something like that. Okay, um, so the instructor will also point out where the where the fuel gauge is, where the blinkers are, so the controls on the steering wheel, um, where the windshield wipers are turned on and off, um, all those different things. And so they'll spend a little bit of time on that first drive. Uh, you got your inside mirror, you got an outside right mirror, and an outside left mirror, um, and you know that's pretty much it. So once you kind of talk about what's what and what's where. Um, probably have you do a little bit of driving in a parking lot. Now, depending on um, your instructor and you, um, you may stay in the parking lot the whole time, but likely you'll, you'll, you won't. Likely you'll get out on the street. Um, but your instructors will put you in um, increasingly more challenging situations. And so don't stress about it. It's going to be baby steps. So it might be the, the parking lot first. And so um, you might... Um, simply start the car and apply some gas to see how touchy it is and then brake to see how touchy it is every vehicle is different gas brake gas brake 
uh, might have you uh, simply turn and go back down the other side of the parking lot. Uh, at this point, might even have you look at the speedometer and see if you can get it above uh, or between 20 and 25 miles per hour, let's say. So here I'm looking, and here's, this is tough on this simulator, it's really touchy. Uh, there's 20, 21, so, and see if I can maintain that, right? So, um, gas and stop. So, um, just to know that you know where everything is and to know that you know that the gas is on the right and the brake is on the left. You know, once that the, the instructor is confident that you know how to turn, how to steer, how to get, how to apply gas, how to stop, um, they might take you out on the street. Okay, and so it's good to know, obviously, what all the laws are, and that's what this course is all about. So if you have studied and you know what the laws are, um, you are ready to go. And most of this first drive. It's just to get used to the feel of this vehicle. That probably won't be a pickup truck like this, but um, it'll be a, a car. And uh, possibly, there's some, some driving schools that have trucks. Um, but um, mostly just kind of walk you through um, some control of the vehicle. So let's say we want to go right. So we're going to signal right. Uh, the law says you have to signal for at least five seconds. Okay. So we're gonna signal right, and um, we always want to look left, right, left. And we look left twice because that's typically the traffic that's gonna hit us first um, because we're closest to the left lane. So that's why we do left, right, left. And if there's no traffic, we can just pull out. Now the, in the law says you have to pull out into the closest lane to you, which is right, I'm gonna grab my mouse. And I'm going to change my view a little bit. There we go. Okay. Be right behind the vehicle. Now, you might be wondering, why am I not driving in this view? Um, I can't stand it. Um, obviously, that's what a car looks like. Um, but when I'm in a simulator, it just feels claustrophobic to me. I like to be able to see a little better, so I'll back out of this and be in this view. Um, for a lot of my lessons in this simulator. So um, basically, when you first start driving, you're going to want to stare at the speedometer. Don't do that. Um, don't stress about that too much. Um, oh, and I see something coming up. It looks like maybe the road is blocked. So give me a second. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn uh, signal left. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look um, over my left shoulder, make sure there's no traffic coming. Um, and really, um, what I would do is, um, I'm gonna switch to my inside view. Because my blinker's on, I'm gonna check my inside mirror, my outside left mirror, and then I'm gonna look over my shoulder. And so that's how that would look. And then I would uh, go ahead and do a U-turn, okay? And see why I don't like this view. It's like kind of hard to hard to see exactly, but that's real. All right, back in my lane. I'm gonna change to my outside view and uh, grab my mouse. There we go. Okay, so now we know that road was closed. So I'm going to um, just drive back this other direction. Um, your first drive, you're really just getting comfortable with the vehicle, making sure you can keep your speed um, st um, steady. So let's say the, 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 speedometer, the speed limit here is 30, let's say. Um, I'm having a hard time going 15. I mean, this game is really sensitive, like gas, gas, gas. Uh, I'm going to keep going straight just because that's easiest at this point. Um, but the instructor will be watching to make sure that you can keep your speed steady. But don't stare at the speedometer, right? We need you to be looking at the road. So the most important thing here is keeping the car in the lane. All right, and then just be, you know, have your ears open and be listening to what the instructor is asking you to do. All right, and then every once in a while, glance at the speedometer. Okay, so I'm going 29. Okay, cool. I'm going 29, 30. Okay, cool. And that's, you know, fine for now. Let's see if the speed limit's 35 here and I'm going 30, fine. I'm um, just trying to kind of keep it uh, fairly steady. Now it looks like I've got the same kind of scenario going here. So I'm going to signal left. Okay. Uh, what I would do at this point, again, I'll just show you from the inside. I would be checking my inside mirror, my outside left mirror over my shoulder. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a U-turn. 
Now, why don't I check my outside right mirror? That's because I'm not turning right. Okay, so um, I only have to ch choose those two mirrors. Um, sorry, let me get to uh, behind the vehicle view. There we go. Okay, cool. So apparently this road is a dead end in both directions and that's fine because this first lesson was just to kind of show you what to expect. You will probably drive on some in some neighborhoods just to, and the instructor is watching to see if you can keep your speed that you can um, stay in the lane and you can start, stop, and steer. That's it. First drive is fairly simple. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look for a safe place to pull over and switch drivers so another driver can take a turn. So I'm gonna stay in my lane. I'm also gonna see if I can adjust the controls so my gas isn't so touchy. <laughs> you can't do that in a real car. Uh, but let's see. This looks like this road, I can turn right, or I'm gonna go ahead and turn right. Okay, five seconds. Uh, and when you do that, it's one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000 before you turn, okay? So you'll practice that. Um, more than five seconds is fine, but the, the law says at least five seconds. And so uh, I, see, I see people all the time signal right at the intersection right when they're turning. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and park here. So I'm gonna signal right, and I'm gonna pull in to a spot right here, and stop. Okay, let's see how I did. <laughs> let's pull around front and see how I did. Um, yeah, okay, that's, that's not bad. I'm a little bit far, far, far forward, so I'm gonna go ahead and back up just a little bit. Okay, so um, that's okay. So, um, Anyway, what I was saying was that you want to signal for five seconds and the whole point is that you you're letting people know what you're doing You're not just signaling because the cops Need you to signal or that's the law, you know So people think they can just flip on their signal as they're going around a corner and they're legal because they signaled Well, technically they didn't signal for five seconds and it's the same thing as not signaling, right? So be one of those excellent drivers that uh, follows all the laws uh, it's easy for people to say they're a great driver. Most, pe most people aren't. Um, but it's being one of those drivers that knows I'm gonna signal for five seconds. And uh, not only because I have to, because I want the person behind me to know what I'm doing so they don't slam into me. Um, they don't know what I'm thinking. So, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna use this program. It's called beamng.drive to show, to teach, to uh, try anyway, to show different examples, different driving scenarios um, that might be interesting uh, as well as kind of fun um, to show you what to expect in the future. So uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions for me, um, get a hold of me and uh, I will see you in the future.